We woke up at five or six in the morning, or maybe earlier, if we slept at all. My wife, Ray, came with us. My secretary, Martha, drove the car, and we gave her the assignment of finding a parking lot to park the car, because that's one of the challenges that lawyers who argue before the Supreme Court have, a place to park the car. It was a wonderful feeling. We uh, said, we're here at last. We're just going to have to do our best. We've rehearsed, we've studied, we've memorized, we understood the issues, we understood the questions that were likely to be asked. I must have been nervous because my hands were sweating so much that there were drips of perspiration on the uh, rostrum from which I argued the motion. And I felt sorry for anybody who had to come up there after me. They, they were going to get soaked. I had a moment of nerves, and then I picked up the quill. I give you a quill when you argue first time in Supreme Court and play with that. The funny part is when I stood up to argue, I was as calm as I've ever been in my life. It's like sitting here talking to you. Uh, it's, I just felt I belonged right there. Uh, I felt that's what I had trained for, and I was just where I belonged, doing what I should do. Number 395. Richard Perry Loving, et al. Appellants versus Virginia. Mr. Hirschkopf. Mr. Chief Justice, may it please the court, I am Bernard S. Cohen. I would like to move the admission of Mr. Philip J. Hirschkopf, Pro Hoc Vice, my co-counsel in this matter. He is a member of the Bar of Virginia. Your motion is granted. Mr. Hirschkopf, you may proceed. Thank you, Your Honor. You have before you today what we consider the most odious of the segregation laws and the slavery laws. And our view of this law, and we hope to clearly show, is that this is the slavery law. These laws rob the Negro race of their dignity. It's the worst part of these laws. And that's what they're meant to do, to hold the Negro class in a lower position, lower social position, a lower economic position. We ask that the court consider the full spectrum of these laws and not just the criminality, because it's more than a criminality that's at point here. But the legitimacy of children, the right to inherit land, the many, many rights. And in reaching a decision, we ask you to reach it on that basis. 